and welcome back to the Homesteading Housewife. Today I wanted to bring you along for one of the easiest pantry meals you can make. It it just makes or reaffirms, I guess, why one of the reasons why I can meet. Um, canning in general, I've talked about, you know, the many reasons why I do it. <coughs> one of them is convenience. This is a super easy meal. It is beef tips and gravy with mashed potatoes. <laughs> so, mashed potatoes you can make ahead of time and freeze. So, here is a batch of thawed mashed potatoes. So, that's already done super easy. All I have to do is heat it up. This is also really great if you're wanting to do Dutch potatoes because you just uh, cut off a tip if you freeze it in bags like this cut off a tip and then you can whirl it in its little uh, little individual Dutch potatoes uh, but you need a, a jar of roast beef or this is stew meat um, that I did and then this was done in water so it has a very light flavor so I'm going to add a gravy packet to this um, liquid. And then I also have a can of just beef gravy that I'm gonna use because we have a lot of mashed potatoes and I want them all to be used today. So, super, super simple. I have my cast iron, ugh, get you over here. I have my cast iron heating up. We're gonna put a little bit of oil down. Just so nothing sticks. But that is a very seasoned cast iron. So I don't see anything sticking. Good seal. I'm going to pour the liquid into a different thing. So I can heat up the meat first. And then do the gravy. Just so I can get the gravy nice and smooth. And there won't be any lumps. But this is a par-cooked beef, and you can see how it stays in chunks. If this were to have been raw packed, it would have all been, um, it probably would have come down to about right here, and it would have just looked like one big blob of meat. Um, that's best for if you're just wanting stuff shredded. Um, that's why you won't really ever see me do... Uh, raw packed meat because it's just shredded meat by the time it's done where this it's nice clumps and it's going to make a beautiful dinner now they are tender like you can see here <clears throat> my uh, marks from where I browned it but these are tender like they will of course break up so you want to be careful with them if you're wanting to keep them in this form but it just, I just like it better. Plus, the jars are much easier to clean afterwards. So, gonna heat this up. I'm going to season it just lightly. I have a garlic rosemary sea salt blend. Very lightly because um, the gravy packet and gravy jar will be um, salty. And then I do want to add some pepper <clears throat> and let this heat through now while this is heating through I'm going to put my mashed potatoes in a pan and let those heat through as well okay <clears throat> so once your meat has heated through you can go ahead and remove it now you could do this all at one time but all your meats gonna break up if you do it that way so I'm just going to remove the meat. You could also do this in a separate saucepan, what I'm getting ready to do, but why dirty up something else when this is right here. So, <clears throat> meat removed, and I need a whisk, and we are going to use the liquid from our uh, jar. Now, if you had used beef stock with this, um, you could just heat this up with some cornstarch, season with salt and pepper as needed, and it'll make a delicious gravy. Um, but since this is just 
um, this was water that I added, I'm going to be seasoning it with the um, gravy packet. But you want about a cup of that. Add your gravy packet. And I always have gravy packets on hand. It is one of the staples in my pantry. I have gravy, taco seasoning, ranch packets, Italian packets, and another type of packet. Uh, but I have those all for just in case moments or if I'm not feeling like making something completely from scratch, I'll use that. Um, it's just always nice to have backups in a well-stocked pantry. Cause like what if you're doing leftovers with roast for instance, and you ate all the gravy the day before? Like, it just It just makes sense. So while this is going, I do have my mashed potatoes heating up over here and they are heating up on low. You want to make sure that you can hear it sizzling on the bottom, but that's why you want to do it low and slow so that nothing scorches and keep turning it so that um, it doesn't burn, but it'll just slowly heat through and then <clears throat> those were perfect mashed potatoes. I did them a new way in a um, food mill or ricer. You could use a ricer. Um, they were the best potatoes. Um, so just another reason why I love freezing my meals uh, or meal prepping is I have delicious mashed potatoes and I made those three weeks ago and they're going to be just as good as the first time I make them fresh. I love meal prepping. So once this is already starting to heat up and thicken, once this thickens, we're going to add our can of gravy to it and incorporate it all together, heat it through, and then this meal's done. Like five minutes and this meal is complete. Who wouldn't want to meal prep and can for this reason alone? Okay, this is starting to get nice and thick. I don't want to overcook it, so I'm going to go ahead and add the beef gravy can. Because honestly, it's been staring at me in my pantry for a while, and I just want to use it. And it's the perfect time to use it because we have all those mashed potatoes. But you can see how nicely everything incorporates together. You want all the gravy. Gravy makes everything better. And then if you're wanting to add any other sides, go ahead and heat those up or make them. This would be great with some crusty bread or a roll. Jimmy over here is almost ready to use. Um... He is doubling in size, as you can see, uh, for those that do sourdough. Um, I have my rubber band. He has doubled in size, and he is still growing. He was uh, fed uh, an hour ago. Um, okay, so your, when your gravy is heated up and to the thickness that you desire, taste test it. I already burnt my finger taste testing it. It's good. You want, turn off the heat, put your meat back in, and just very gently stir it around. I'm going to get a spoon, and you just want to, of course, coat, and you can see even with all the moving, it's still still the meat is still staying together really nicely. And then I will show you how we plate it up. I will go ahead and get my husband's plate ready. I decided to be super easy and we're gonna have a leftover biscuits. Look how cute these look. Um, they are actually Cheddar Bay biscuits. Um, that I made a couple nights ago to go with seafood. And we're going to have them tonight. But you want to take your potatoes. 
and make a little bed. And then get yourself a nice helping of the meat. And some extra gravy because why not? And there you have it. Now, does that not look delicious? And it came straight from the pantry and freezer. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it inspires you um, to try out some make ahead meals, canning, freezing, meal prep for yourself because five minutes or less, and this is what you got. Thanks for watching, everyone.